Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you all with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Why don't you grab a snack and a drink? Hit that subscribe button, best friend. If you hear somebody snoring in the background, that's my husband, bitch, okay? He is snoring. He has noise-canceling earphones so he can't hear me bitch but even if he didn't have those earphones on girl he could still sleep and i could do i could vacuum i could sing the fucking soundtrack of moana bitch okay i could bring 120 oompa loompas and have a fucking orgy with them he won't fucking hear me bitch okay um so yeah if you hear the snoring in the background that's my husband uh bear husband okay anyways girl we gotta talk about kim kardashian because kim kardashian she according to a lot of fans have has finally said that has finally saw the most real, relatable Kim Kardashian quote ever, best friend. So on the latest episode of The Kardashians, um, Kris Jenner sits down with Kim and says like, hey, so did you enjoy your birthday? And she goes, honestly, no. How? How? He just put his head on the fucking pillow two seconds ago, bitch. Uh, anyways, um, so she sits down with her mom and she goes, look, you know, my birthday was consumed with my children and doing what they wanted to do, right? And she goes, you know, they think that doing things basically that they like is sort of like a gift to her. But of course, they're still young, all four of her children. And, you know, she had to go to like a game. She had to watch like their favorite YouTube videos. She had to go to a soccer game. She had to go to their favorite Color Me Mime, which I don't know what the fuck that is, bitch. But that sounds, that sounds, I don't know, Color Me Mime or Color Me Moo, like me, Color Me Me. What what the fuck is that? What do you color? I've always wanted to go to a, uh, I want, I've always wanted to go to a pottery class. And I want like a, a hunky guy to sit behind me and like teach me how to do it. You know what I mean? Only if he's Paul Rudd. Because he's my only hall pass that my husband allows me to have. So if Paul Rudd can teach me how to like ceramic girl. Ooh. Girl. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Anyways, Paul Rudd can get it, girl. People, people, people love the six pack of it all. I don't like a six pack. I, I don't like, I like. I like, I like a dad bod. Do you know? I like a man who's lived, bitch. I, I like a man who eats, girl. You know, I like a man who is not afraid of a little bloating, bitch. That's what I like. That's what I like, you know. But imagine going out with someone that, can I have 120 grams of uh, clean protein chicken breast, please? No sauce, no seasoning, no potatoes, no nothing. I'm like, okay, girl, um, do you have any, um... Do you have a burger? Okay, can I have a burger well made? Okay, I'm gonna need you to add his sides to the burger because you know we're not you know wasting any money here. So he has uh, uh, he has uh, two sides that he's allowed to have. Okay, I'm gonna get those two sides. All right, I'm gonna have an extra slice of fucking bacon on the side, some French fries. Okay, and don't skimp out on the bread because you guys used to give out bread. You don't give out bread no more. I'm gonna need to put that bread with that butter and if you have that cinnamon butter oh i would love that too girl when's your break honey sit down and let's eat together because i'm not gonna eat, enjoy my food with this man girl you know anyways so listen i just have to say best friend the following um some people are really criticizing her for saying that because a lot of people are saying like oh she sounds so like you know ungrateful to have children this and that but i have to say best friend that um as i got older I realize, and a lot of people agree with her, by the way. A lot of people love that she said that. You know, a lot of moms say that's a very real thing. I look back and it's true. Like, I wish that I could go back and, and leave my mom alone for like half a, half a day. Do you know, like, if she, you know, my mom had three jobs at once. So if she could, when, when her days off were happening, I wish I would have just been less annoying. Do you know, I wish I could have just left, let her, leave her alone. You know, maybe call my aunt. To order us a pizza so she didn't have to cook you know give her some break give her a time out you know let her watch her her shows like i remember i would always like you know go in and if she was watching her show she would turn to to watch another show that was maybe more appropriate for me i wish i would have just gotten up from the bed and got into my room do you know and and give her a break but i know that as an adult as a kid you don't know that so i understand how people are kind of criticizing her but i think that this is what the kardashians need they need more real a bit real, relatability and this is something that i think is going to actually 
um, it's going to actually have her gain, you know, quite a few followers because, you know, usually parents like celebrities, they always say like everything is so picture perfect, their children are so perfect, everything is so picture perfect, 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 perfect. Um, but no one really talks about it. Sometimes kids can be fucking shitty. Sometimes they can be mean. Sometimes they they can be annoying as fuck. Do you know? But, you know, I, I like that about Kim now. I think that she needs to continue to be like that. I think she needs to continue to be more real for moms because there's a lot of parents out there who sometimes feel ashamed of having these type of feelings and feel guilt trips or feel guilty for saying things because you can be very grateful for your child, but you can also find them highly annoying. Do you know? So I think that she should continue to do this. And I actually have a business idea. So Chris, Chris Jenner, if you are watching, girl, I'm gonna I'm need the 15% cut, okay? I have to say, I think she should write some kind of book or she should do some kind of series where she talks about real life shit. You know, where she talks about how kids are annoying, where she talks about how she just really wanted a day for herself. Her mom, Chris, asks her, like, what would your ideal day have been? And she goes, I would have loved to lock myself in my in my room and eat like uh, junk food, cookies or whatever, and like watch her shows. And, you know, and not have her children knock, 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 knock. You know, Kanye needs to fucking take Kanye should have uh, uh, picked up the children that day. Do you know? Instead of ga gaveling ting around with Bianca, who girl she she doesn't even want to be where, where 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 she's at because girl the, the lady always looks so miserable. But you know, he, I mean, damn, Kanye should have come and picked them up and said we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna stay the night and and we're gonna leave your mom you know to have a good birthday by herself. Do you know? But anyways, girl, I just don't understand, girl. Men, women are from Venus, men are from Mars. And I'm gay, so I can enjoy both planets. Anyways, best friend, what do we think about it? Do you think that it's fair for her to say these type of things? Do you think that people judging her, you know, are in the right or are in the wrong? I actually think they're in the right because if I'm being very honest, you know, um, I think that reading the comments from that video, a lot of people are, a lot of, I guess, moms and, and parents are saying like, thank you for saying this because oftentimes there's these guilt trips, there's these... Ah. there's these guilt trips there's these you know things that go along with everything so you know i'm glad she did that i'm glad that she's told girl okay okay son hey son ah. Ah. my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like is better than yours damn right is better than yours i can teach you but i have to charge my milkshake brings other boys to the yard oh the sun is deep in bitch oh the sky said nope now nah, it came back my milkshake brings other boys should i change the song are you ladies pop yo like this shake your body don't stop don't miss just do it do it do it, do it, do it now, lick it good. So, oh, it's it's leaving again. Okay, we we we're we're losing its attention. We're losing. Uh, um, when I was young. Oh, I can try this. This is me. Now, oh, the sun said yes. Be shady, bit. Oh, never mind. Come on, the floor. The sun said no, girl. Thank you. Uh, anyways, um, I'm gonna add this to another video because I think that I think that is a that's such a coincidence. Every time I see the sun, I saw the sun. Oh no, it's a sign. Anyways, girl, listen. The sun will come out tomorrow, but you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Come what may, when you're stuck in the day, that's great and lonely i just pick up my chin and grin and say girl don't 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 make me look bad okay son i'm gonna need you to come out because the sun will come out tomorrow but you gotta hang on till tomorrow i think the sun likes me come what may Ooh. The sun has a crush on me, girl. Anyways, I love you all so much. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of this uh, uh, video. Kim Kardashian. I'm probably going to add this segment to another video because I think this is cute. Uh, anyways, have I shown you guys my, my nails? 
Aren't they so cute? This is the first time I actually get my nails done in like over 10 years. So I love them. Anyways, girl, I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.